everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is November 24th, 2018. And I thank you for watching. The last time, some of the last videos we had, was a X that was appearing on a wall. And uh, many trolls would say that this was from the hubcaps of the wheels. This is perfectly normal. And uh, I would like to show you this one more time, slow time, eight, eight times and zoomed in so let's watch some of the slow-mo stuff and also have some more solid proof on some other cameras of this spinning X lens that's in front of the Sun let's go now if you watch real close there's lights that flash in front of the camera now this is the real-time speed and the guy that taught videoed this with his camera thought that there was a ghost attacking him but it was like a rhythmic spinning light that was actually spinning in front of him and I will show you towards the end of the video of where this spinning light and the intense narrow cones of light that are hitting this location for a very short period of time Let's slow it down, re-upload it on YouTube. Let's play that again in slow motion. Let's see what you missed from the last videos. Absolutely incredible. Eight times. Look at that spiraling light in front of the lens. Let's do that again. There is a 20 foot by 20 foot cubic mirror spinning in front of the hole in the lens array hiding it. I'll show you the hole in the barrel and the intense cone of light a little later in the video but I want to show you the proof first because yes yeah, a sun simulator you need some hard proof and well, here we go it's so compelling and let's slow down taking those look how many spokes that we have on the cars here and look at the side of the car here where my cursor is coming from the window there is no trickery here folks and then he pans over and watch what comes from the left side of the screen watch very carefully I've slowed it down do you see what appears to be a ghost almost it's an X that's traveling right in front of it and here comes the bigger picture a giant X slowed down eight times the speed did you see that one last time that's what you missed what else did we miss So I've showed you before, in case you missed it, I've slowed this down, but I didn't zoom it in. And maybe you're watching on your cell phone and you thought this is a hoax. So I'm going to show you what the sun, as it passes in front, every day the sun takes a different, a different path. And that's exactly what we see here over the next several days of this object passing in front. That's a time lapse. Let's zoom that in and slow down notice we see the light appearing right here and where do we go back this is the 13th I'm gonna go back a couple of days and we're gonna see this thing pass in front of the house at different arcs coming from up behind the building lighting up the sky over the course of about four days now this is archived back for about maybe five days ten days look how it morphs from an X to a square just like we've seen now I have footage from subscribers from across the country and around the world even the people I'm not gonna show them all but these X's are appearing everywhere and this thing is what's burning the lawn furniture look at your X right there see the right angles of this object I mean light <laughs> pretty cool huh zoomed in slow down for your view and pleasure now let's watch we'll see what happened on the fifth when this is done let's watch this what happened on the fifth this is really cool 
So I'm going to play this and zoom this in. Now keep your eye right here above this house. Watch how this whole thing starts to glow like an aura. As the sun simulator lens passes right over this house. Do you see the glow over this house? The glow fades out. The light's coming up. Let me zoom that out a little bit for you. Here comes the sun simulator passing over the house at a different angle. This one towards the bottom of the house at a different arc. And we could watch this again. It happens almost the same time at about 2.30. I've saved the exact spot. And here we can see it again passing in front at a different arc. This time it's the 11th. This was just a flash. At 11 o'clock. At starting about 2 o'clock. So we can zoom that in. Slow it down. Actually it is slowed down. Remember time lapse always appear to go faster than it really is. So here. Here it happens again at a different arc. Well, that was pretty cool. So let's go over this barrel of the gun, narrow coin of light, all this terminology. This is an actual NASA patent for the Sun Simulator. You want? I'll leave a link and a pinned comment at the top of this. If you have any questions, go back and watch my Sun Simulator playlist. So here is the light that's bound that's created this is the light generator it creates these hexagonal system of lights that bounce the light off this convex mirror which has a hole in it this is the side view this hole would have basically the black dot that they want to cover because it bounces through this lens off this spinning cube to hide this hole bounces back and what we see the barrel of this thing you need to look these narrow cones of light let me show you the narrow cones of light. Over in Florida. From the Zion Warrior, Warriors channel in Florida. We see the black dot being seen. Reflecting off water. Spinning in front of the camera. Got so much footage of this. It's not something on your camera. This thing is rotating at a high speed. Now we know what it looks like on the ground. Actually, this is not the composite. Composite. Okay, sorry. Spinning cube composition or compiled what we see from footage around the world. The same spinning cube. Again, the Zion Warrior channel. Reflecting on the water. I got so much footage of this. You look for it, you will see it. Here is the clearest picture of the spinning cube. It's actually farther away, but because of the lens in front of it, it makes it look closer. It's distorting, making the sun similar bigger than it really is. Again, if you've got more questions, just go back and watch the playlist. So here we see the spinning cube, and here we see the cones of light. Let's play this little time lapse from Australia. Which cameras are now offline? Weathercamnetwork.com.au, the whole thing's offline. Been offline for over two months now. See these cones of light? I believe we look if you were down that you'd be seeing that black spot and be getting this this effect. Look at all the pictures that I've saved from people around the world. Here's another spinning dot. Let's watch this spinning dot reflect off the window even the sign over on the left. Now I can't show you with my cursor and scroll this back and forth at the same time. So I just have to tell you. So there's our spinning dot. Reflects off glass. It's not something on the camera. That's that hole in that mirror I've been talking to you about. Here we see it here. This is what it looks like appearing to be a hologram hovering again where? 
In Australia, you know, the one with the cameras offline. And we see this ghost-like image here spiraling. That's what that is. Right at the focal point of lens in front of the sun simulator, one of the lenses in the lens array. Not a UFO. That's just... Look at that. I should zoom that in, right? But I can't. This is a different footage. Here we see... This same array of lights appearing on barns. In fact, check this out. This was submitted to me by Matt Man from his house. I really appreciate the videos. Please give me videos of this. It's just not compelling to just give me a photo. I want to show that this guy, Matt Man, who's a subscriber of mine, caught this in his own house. Showing it bouncing from those mirrors from the sun onto the building over here. Two windows, two stars. Pretty hot, too. And bouncing and reflecting all over his house. Thank you, Matt, man. That was awesome. Need more stuff like this. And trying to, maybe you can catch this on slow motion. We can catch even more cool stuff. So, yeah. And look at that trampoline, too. If it would have been the path of that trampoline, it would have burned. We got interesting news about that. I already showed this, but I'm going to touch on it one last time. So, over in Drobak, somewhere in Europe, uh, suddenly, these styrofoam protection against these bars on the trampoline melted. They do a little investigation, and trampoline melted suddenly, you know, and then they discovered that the windows from across the street, from across the yard, over 70 feet away, was causing this, and melted it. Here's their lamest explanation I've ever heard. That the heat melted the glass and formed it into a shape of a lens and cooked and burned and melt suddenly. Well, why didn't it do this the day before or all the time? Why was it sudden? Would glass really form this shape? Would heat it and melt something like a focal point 70 feet away? Seriously? Get, get real. So let's play that footage one last time. I just think it doesn't get enough credit. It was just such a fantastic catch. Look at that. Slow down eight times. And then this crazy catch as well. We'll be looking for more time looking for more time lasses. Look at this one. I would like to catch the streaming, it would have been kinda neat. Look how the light is coming and look at this defined edge right here where this light is coming. See my cursor here? <laughs> wow. There is no doubt in my mind that that is the lens of the sun simulator. There may be something extra special with this area. I believe we keep seeing this lens-like curvature right before this thing turns on. And then watch how this X forms. And really study this light. This is so neat. So feel free to copy, like, and share. Mirror this video. Definitely, please share it. This needs to get out. This is why we're getting burning crops. The burning feeling on your feeling for those that are caught. And this path changes daily. So it's not going to always burn in the exact same spot, but you get caught underneath the thing, you, you're going to get burned. This thing is extremely hot. I believe that's what caused the burning uh, feet on MB3. Shot some amazing stuff as well. Just look at that. Look how the light is this huge X. I mean, look at this up here. I mean, you guys probably see some more stuff than I do, but I thought you'd appreciate it seeing zoomed in and slowed down. I mean, you could shoot even see this with your cell phone if this is how you're watching it.
Wow. I wonder how hot that house, the side of that, uh, right underneath the house in this particular shot. So I'll leave links for everything too. Guess we could speed this up a little bit. Wow. And the path, I think this path is probably going lower on the hill cliff as this thing as they approach winter solstice. And there's your perfect X. Nice and zoomed in. Look at the right angles of that X in the, on the side of the cliff. And look, it almost forms like a square, like it morphs into a square too. That's so wild. And look how it like gently kind of rotates as well. Hmm. Remember, this is time lapse, so it's going to be a slow passing X that goes into the side the, along the side of the building. Crazy. Oh yeah, MB3. Check it out. Just downright bizarre. She thought it was a flashlight in the sky until looking closer. Yeah, flashlight in the sky. We've ever heard that before. Well, remember those uh, spiraling cones of light? There was two of them, and we see two here. Just a thought. Anyways, please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.